Hello YouTube, Mr. Ozned here. No time wasted in this video because I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So we're going to dive straight into it, no messing about. I am bringing you a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can recreate these kind of glowing lines you see here. These were not created in Photoshop, but we are going to try and recreate them. You're going to want to start with a black background, pick up your pen tool, create a new layer and then make a selection for where your lines are going to go. This is just an example selection. As you can see, it's pretty shocking, but it will do. Come over here to your brush tool, select the second brush along, the first hard brush you see, make it size 30, and make sure this option is selected. Next to the opacity, it should be slightly gray. This makes it so that when you simulate the pressure, actually do it now go back to your pen tool right click stroke path simulating the pressure when you simulate the pressure instead of going thinner at the ends it will decrease the opacity at the ends as you can see here you're gonna delete path by right clicking and selecting delete path that's a pretty horrible path I could have done much better than that but you should get the idea anyway once you've done that you're gonna want to duplicate the layer and then come over to the layer, hold down command or control if you're on PC, click the box, that will select the layer, and then go up to the top, select, modify, contract, and we're going to start with 6 pixels, I think. Press backspace or delete if you're on a PC, and then command or control D to select it. As you can see, we've got this kind of outline effect and then you're going to want to go control or command uh, T to transform it hold down shift when moving that corner arrow and just place it about there slightly outside maybe slightly off center as well just like that you're going to want to duplicate that original layer this layer one is the original pen tool we made and on this one you're going to want to select it again come up to the top again go select modify contract this time instead of six pixels let's go for three click backspace or delete again and as you can see we've got an even smaller outline you don't have to transform this you can just place it down this time I'm going to transform I think just a tiny bit and then place it where it looks good we're trying to build up these lines so there's lots of lines if I just quickly go, up, go back onto the our kind of aim, you see there's lots and lots of lines. We're not going to be able to make that many lines, but we should come close. So you're going to want to duplicate that first layer again. Do the same with the selection, but this time instead of contracting it by three, we're going to do it by two. Press delete, deselect it, and we've got an even smaller selection and then just place that on the image where it looks good let's just put it there and if you want if you're a bit lazy you can just oops don't want to delete it you can just duplicate that and move it a bit more until it looks good it's looking pretty good so far so you want to make a backup of that original pen tool layer by duplicating it and then just hiding it for now. We're going to merge all these layers so select the top one, hold down command or control and press E until they are all merged. As you can see we've now got one layer with everything on it. So it's time for some layer styles. We're going to go up to the top layer, layer style, outer glow. The outer glow is going to be orange and the inner glow is going to be red. So we're going to apply an orange outer glow, make it quite large, quite vibrant, and then just lower the opacity a little bit. Not a very nice orange, I selected that, let's make another one a bit lighter, that'll do. And we're going to choose an inner glow because we're going to have a nice yellow colour. We're going to have to change the blend mode to normal, otherwise you won't be able to see it and then just tone down the opacity so that it's still yellow but it's still got a bit of white in there as well as you can see that's looking pretty cool 
just to add a bit of glow around the edge a bit more you want to duplicate that layer click OK and then turn the fill down to zero this will get rid of the white in the middle but it will keep the layer styles we're going to go back into that get rid of the inner glow but make the outer glow a lot larger then just play out the opacity we just want to turn it down slightly let's give the whole thing a bit more of a wider glow but more intense uh, closer to the line to add to this effect we're going to go onto onto our background layer make a new layer so that's at the very bottom choose a large soft brush about size 200 set it to a nice orange color and then just paint on the background like so there you go and then just set the opacity to about 10 20% if it's too sharp for you you can just go filter blur Gaussian blur set the radius to about 50 and then click OK. I'm just going to make another one of those layers actually to make it slightly more intense in the middle. This is all kind of per personal preference. I'm going to blur that again. Not a lens blur. Silly me. A Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur. Filter uh, radius 50. Or I say filter. And then tone that down to about 20. Next, we are going to duplicate the original um, duplicated layer the one with all the styles on not the added extra glow the original one not delete it duplicate it and click OK and then we are going to want to select it like we did before go up to select modify contract let's do it by five pixels press backspace deselect it and we've got another thin selection with this you can transform it a little bit make it slightly bigger and then move it over the design like so you can play with that with the opacity of this maybe set it to overlay turn the opacity down a little bit so that we've got building up these nice glowing lines Another thing you can do is duplicate that layer, original layer again, and this time you want to go up to Filter, Distort, Wave. On this wave you want to click Randomize a few times until you've got something that looks good. This will give you kind of this wavy effect. Set the blending mode to Overlay, and then as before, play about with the opacity until it looks good. bit too much 30 that's looking nice if there's too much yellow or too much orange you can just hide the effects on these duplicated layers as they're not really necessary I don't add that much to the image I'm gonna keep it on that one though once you've done that we're gonna duplicate the bottom layer again and no don't delete it that's the second time I've done that duplicate it that's right Select it and select it, there we go. And then contract it this time by one pixel. Press delete, deselect it, and we've got a really small selection this time. We can get rid of the outer glow, maybe even the inner glow as well. Let's keep the inner glow actually. Transform it, make it a bit bigger, and place it in place where it looks nice make it even bigger I'm gonna set this to overlay and as you can see our image is starting to come together you can duplicate this layer if you want duplicate it we could even apply another wave to this let's set that to wave turn down maybe some of these sliders make it slightly less intense set that to overlay again move it about and then lower the opacity 20% that'll do 
You can also, if there's not enough lines for you, you can add some in freehand or even using the pen tool. Let's try that actually. So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna go in with the pen tool once more, add some more crazy lines around the image. Kind of intense, more intense in the middle. That's the effect we're going for. This time, for the brush tool, we're going to want to select a small hard brush, such as size 5 or so, 5 or 4, 5, and then stroke the path on a new layer. Not with orange though. Ah, what did I do? Not with orange, with white. Click OK. Delete the path and then we can just set that to overlay. You can duplicate that if you want. I haven't spent much time in this so the lines don't actually follow the original path much, the ones I just made. But you can spend more time and make them nice. So I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. And this is starting to build up the lines. If some of the lines are kind of in the wrong place, you can just get the eraser tool and just erase those parts if they look kind of out of place. So we are nearly there. One last thing we want to do is we want to make a new layer, grab a large brush, soft brush, about size 100, set the colour to white and then do a few dots over the lines. Once you've done those, just set that to overlay, this kind of gives it kind of slightly more glowing in places, gives it kind of more depth and makes it more interesting. One optional thing you can do is make a new layer, fill it with black, go up to the top, filter, render, clouds, this is completely optional, and then you can set that to screen, I believe. Or is it screen? No. Lighten, overlay. Overlay, that's it. <laughs> and then lower the opacity. If you want to give the background slightly kind of varied texture or look, you can have some clouds in the background. And we are nearly there. Finally, just to finish up, as I always do, add some gradient maps. Black to white to start with. Set to soft light. Turn the opacity down to about 20%. I think we're going to want to make this a bit more fiery looking. So I'm going to make one that is yellow to orange. Actually no, I'm going to make it three colours. It's going to be black to red to yellow. That looks good. And then we're just going to look through these settings, see which one looks good. Probably soft light for this. We can even get rid of the last layer we made if this is going to do the contrast kind of two in one. Set that to about 30% in my case. I can actually put that layer back on and want a bit more contrast maybe. Maybe not. I'll leave it off for now. And that nearly wraps it up. Finally, make a new layer. Go to image, apply image. Click OK, go to filter, sharpen, sharpen. That just sharpens the whole image, look, makes it a lot better. And that is pretty much the final design. It look, probably looks kind of dodgy, you can make it much better than this if you take your time. Another example I made when I was actually testing this effect out was this. I think that's, this looks quite a lot better than the other one. Maybe because the lines were slightly thinner little tip for you, try and make the lines maybe slightly thinner than this to give a nicer effect. So this is kind of what you're aiming for. This is what I made when I had a bit more time to spend, I kind of rushed through this so that you'd have to spend too much time learning the technique. Anyway, I've talked enough and you have been watching enough. <laughs> so I'll see you next time.